Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint this witch. And we're working on a 16 by 20 canvas today. It's been primed once with acrylic gesso. We're going to begin by using this large number 50 filbert brush and these two colors. Prism violet and a light blue violet. So I just want to make sure my brush is a little bit wet. And I'm going to start off with my beautiful purple here. What we want to do is just go around the edges with the majority of the paint. So most of the paint all around the sides here first. We'll get that all covered and then we'll work our way into the middle. Without washing my brush off, I'm going to take my blue violet and I'm going to line it up partially on that violet the prism violet. And we're going to put her in the middle here. So I'm going to start her hat right up here. And I've got a number two round brush. I'll take purple and a little bit of black because I've got lots of purple left. And I like to um, change the tone up just a little bit. When I'm using black, I like to add another color to it if I can. So we'll just do a line like this. And we're going to make it a little bit rounded on the end here. So we'll bring it up just slightly. And then over. And now we'll work on the top. And I'm going to take some purple with a little bit of orange this time without washing my brush off and we'll start her hair. Make this nice, deep, fudgy brown color. And we'll just start with this color first. Now she's not going to have uh, ugly hair, green hair, or gray hair. She's more of a pretty witch. So we'll give her some curls, maybe. We'll make her hair a little bit flowier. But just start with these darker colors first for the base. So her hair is coming off and over here, and then her shoulders around this area here, just below her hair falling, and then her shoulder will be right about here. And then her back her back side with some more curls and hair falling down and then we'll just sort of skip that part there go down to her lower back side and this will be how low her dress comes down she has a very low back for her dress and now we can start working on the color of her skin and then so I'm going to take my orange and my yellow. I will make just this light, very light, soft peachy color. And we'll just start adding. And at this point, if I pick up a little bit of that hair color, that's okay. Because she's going to have a little bit of shadow going on in her back from that hair, so that makes sense. And then right over top. We'll start with her shoulder first, and then we'll start coming in with hair around the side. From her shoulder down, see how it starts to come on an angle like this a little bit more, that's her elbow.
and then her hand will be right about here. So her wrist, her elbow. And the rest of her hair and the front side of her. We can just see like just a little bit of it. We'll add all that after. And I'll start coming in with the first part of her dress. We're going to make it this color first and then we'll add the nice beautiful bright orange to it. Pumpkin colors. We'll do the dress first and then we'll work on her hand grabbing and pulling part of her dress. So it starts to come down right here, straight, straight line right here, and then pulls over. So we've got this triangle here. I'm gonna go ahead and paint that in, this dark color. Then we'll take a little bit of that orange and white and start the first folds and highlights. Just a few little lines like that. And then the back side of her dress, we'll pick up those colors again. Low down. Little shadow right in there. And then slightly out and then over. So we've got the shape here. And a few lines. We're going to leave a space between this triangle and this section here. Go ahead and take my purple and my black. From here on a almost straight down, but then it starts to go off on an angle because her dress is going to be pulling up and flowing around. Now down in like a little V or a little bird shape here and then across. I'm going to switch over to a bigger brush just so I can cover this up quicker and easier. I'm going to use my angle brush or dagger brush either or number 10. Pick up purple and black. I'm going to bring this over out oh, just a little bit more so it's not completely straight down anymore. This part's going to start to come around. And then again, out to there. We're going to have some folds and some ripples and it comes down here. Again, some little ripples, wiggle, wiggle, pull, curve, and then bring it up. So that's one side of our dress. Let's take some orange. I'm going to pour out or squeeze out some more orange in a minute, but this is going to be this deep, dark, burnt orange color and shadow. I'll get my brush just a little bit wet here. That's going to help loosen this paint up.
And then right in here, we're going to catch a little bit of light. It curves in, kind of like a wave. And it's just going to be lighter right here. You know when you have that curl of the wave where it just kind of glows? And it's the brightest. Same sort of thing here. I'll take a bit of white, my purple, black, and my orange. I'll come in here, start working on these folds. Same colors. So I'm going to take some of that yellow warm. And we'll just brighten up some of these areas here before we come in with the other part of the dress. Okay, so now we can start coming in. I've got more orange here. We'll pull a little bit of this orange over top of the purple now. From her back side as well. I take a little bit of both of those oranges with a little bit of white. And then you can turn your brush down like this, pull and wiggle just have the folds of these dress or of this dress just sort of separated from the other parts of it so you just have sections of it and then we're going to come down like this on an angle I'm going to come in while this is still wet, take my black and my purple, load my brush by pulling and turning to load both sides. Start adding some lines in here. This will help give us the illusion of folds. I'm going to need a little bit of white just to make sure these colors um, last nice and bright once it dries. Otherwise, with all that purple and black, you run the risk of it just dulling and looking really dark once it dries and you'll lose your highlights. I'm going to take these same colors with a little bit more white this time and I'll add a little 
and around her hat. Start to wiggle with those same colors. for some hair. Now to make it show up here because it's really light back here, it would be a little bit darker, more of a silhouette with all that light in front of it. So we'll make that just a little bit darker. Coming in with more of that skin color because now it's drying a little bit darker and I knew it would and that's okay it's expected so the wrist comes down here it's going to take a little bit of white on the tip of my brush just a little something like that so it looks like she's grabbing some of that material and it's bunched up in her fingers okay I'm just going to take a little bit of black now and just even this out I'm going to lift this bar up so we can see the top of the hat because it's kind of in shadow from that bar, isn't it? I'm going to take a little bit of my blue violet on my filbert brush here and I'm going to add some highlights on her hat. So maybe just create some folds in here. A little bit of shadows, some cooler shadows on that band there. Now I can come in with my black and kind of just clean these areas up. And I'll go back into my white with a little bit of that neon yellow warm. Make this stand out a little bit more, so just make it brighter. And now I can come in with my filbert and add some more highlights on her dress, neon orange and white. So alternating with highlights, more highlights and saturation. So saturation is more of the color and highlights, I'll be adding white to the color. Highlight.
move back in here and add that light again. Then wash my brush off and scumble to blend that out, fade it out into our dark shadows. I'm going to overlap the purple with just orange now. So again, we get a gradation. And then a little bit of a highlight on some of these layers in the folds. I'm going to take a bit of my blue violet here. Just go over her dress slightly a little bit right there. Bring these lines over here. Scumble for some of those ruffles down below. The material that's in her fingers. We'll have a little wide a wide patch here and then it's going to get narrower right down here. We'll fill that in with a nice bright orange, tinted with just a tiny bit of white. Then back over to the white, make a light highlight color, so just a lighter, few shades lighter. So line, line, light curving over, and then right in here, We'll bring these lines over a little bit more. They're going to dry darker over top of that purple. I'm going to take a little bit of purple, mix it in with that orange. Then black and purple. And where we're going to have the darkest area, it's going to be right in here. And then we'll come slightly over part of that orange. Do some little wiggles.
And then just a little bit of a shadow over here. Now I'm going to take uh, one of my favorite brushes for painting hair and lines. And this is, I'm sure you guys can see it. This is a, a rake fan brush or an even tail brush. And we can create all those little squiggles and waves for her hair by using this brush. So the trick is you want to get it wet. And we want to come in with our dark, the orange, purple, and black. We'll take a little bit here to build this up. Wiggle, wiggle. Lightly wiggle. Have it coming down. A little bit darker in this area. Now what I want to do is take a bit of that white with that black, orange, and purple mixture. And start adding some waves in here. So I'm actually using the end of my brush Wiggle, squiggle, and we can get some really pretty spirals. add layers so you'll add a little bit more white to some areas right that you want to show up okay now we can paint her broom oh I'm really excited about painting her broom take this black purple maybe a little bit of orange that might be left there and I think we'll have it coming from we'll line up her hat and then make her broom kind of crooked and curved over coming from behind her let's kind of just line that up and then fan out Right in this area here. I'm going to go in with some black, add a shadow. And I've got a rake filbert brush that I'm going to use for some highlights on her broom. I'm going to do a little thing like that. A few little wispy hairs like that. And back over to my filbert for that same color. They stand out even more with straight black. I'm going to apply this really thick so it dries nice and dark. And 
maybe we could paint a bat. So we'll kind of go up and down. And then you just do those scoop, scoop, scoop. Push a little narrower body in here. So it's a little bit wider there, then push and then let off. I'm gonna go over this in black. I had a little bit of purple in my brush to start. And then we'll come up. Scoop, scoop. And they don't don't worry about trying to make them perfectly even. Two little dabs for ears. One on either side. And I'm going to call this painting all done. This was so much fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy Halloween. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. See you all soon in my next video. Bye.